Thank you once again for joining with me for this short time of reflection on God's Word and prayer. I hope that wherever you are and as you look forward to the summer, that you know, irrespective of the weather forecast, God is with us and every day being filled with his presence is a day to grasp, a day to enjoy, a day to look at the wonders of nature and our God in ourselves and in others. Our short reading today is from Psalm 119, the longest psalm in the book of Psalms, verse 105. I'm sure it's familiar to you. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Amen. It's well over 20 years ago that a group of friends visited Feshy Bridge on a long weekend hill walking. We were ticking off some Munros. On the Saturday we started out enthusiastically to ascend two of them. But as we followed the path and the map, the clouds started to form, the weather closed in, and by the time we reached the first summit, you could not see more than 100 yards ahead. The wind got up and the rain lashed us constantly. And even with the Orton survey map and a good guide, it seemed that it took forever for us to descend. Some of the party were almost ex spent in their exhaustion and it was very, very dark when we stepped onto a farm track still miles away from the hostel. It was then that we saw it a sight that lifted our hearts, renewed our strength and gave us hope of safety. A beam of light, someone walking along the path with a torch. They were coming to search for us. It was a welcome sight, I can tell you. The owner of the hostel, knowing our route and plan and knowing our estimated arrival time, came out looking for us. And that handheld torch seemed like a searchlight to me. Things are different in the gloom and darkness. Smooth paths can be unexpectedly rough, the gentle breeze sounding like a great storm, and even beautiful tree branches can take on a menacing appearance. Life can throw a curveball at us any time. What commands our focus at any one time dictates how we act. When God commands our focus, all things are put into perspective. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. The psalmist put his total trust in our, right, our righteous, just, loving, forgiving and merciful God. He trusts God even when he is walking through hard, dark and difficult times. He is strengthened by all of God's promises. His promises to be with us, to provide for us, 
to heal us, to hear and answer our prayers, and to give us eternal life through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In life's journey, Christ is a reliable guide. Let's pray. Father God, guide and provider, each new day is unknown to us yet full of potential. As we stride into the future, may you be our guide. As we seek knowledge, may your thoughts be our thoughts. And as we seek to serve, may your will be our will. And as we love, may your heart be our heart. In any given situation, may your spirit bring your words to mind, that we may give wise counsel, listen with understanding, speak with encouragement, always in accordance with your word. And as you light our path today, may we become torchbearers for those whose path is dark and rough. And now, the family prayer that Jesus taught us, using any form of words that you like. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.